This presentation is on the liquid penetrant testing method. Liquid penetrant testing method is a surface inspection method that can be used on all the materials. The common test materials that it can be used are carbon steels, stainless steels, titanium, brass, etc. Now I will present you with the basic description of the method and the steps to perform the inspection. Here is the basic description of the liquid penetrant testing method and the steps to conduct the inspection. The inspection with this method has to be done within a temperature range which is 5 degree centigrade to 52 degree centigrade. The first step with this method is cleaning. Cleaning of the test part is most important with liquid penetrant. If the cleaning is done properly, then the inspection becomes much easier and the indications will show up much nicely. After the cleaning, we apply the penetrant. What is a penetrant? Penetrant is a liquid which has the property of capillary action to penetrate into the discontinuities and cracks in the surface. In order to view the penetrant after the inspection, a dye is actually included in the penetrant. It can be a visible dye with a red color or it can be a fluorescent dye which would be visible under a black light. The penetrants which are fluorescent are called type 1 penetrants. The penetrants which are visible are called type 2 penetrants. After the penetrant is applied on the surface, it is left on the surface for about 5 to 10 minutes which is also called the dwell time. Then after the dwell time is over, the penetrant has to be removed from the surface. There are three basic methods of penetrant removal. Solvent removable method which uses a solvent, water washable method in which water is sprayed over the surface and the emulsifier method in which an emulsifier is used to emulsify the penetrant and make it water soluble. Solvent removable method is method C, then we have water washable method which is method A and the emulsifier method, there are actually two methods B and D which is a lipophilic emulsifier and a hydrophilic emulsifier. Once the penetrant has been removed from the surface, a developer is applied. The purpose of the developer is to pull the penetrant out of the discontinuities with a process which is called the reverse capillary action. Here we see the developer has been applied on the surface and after a little while the penetrant is pulled out of the discontinuities and it shows up on the surface. The final step is examination of the surface. If we are using a type 1 penetrant which is fluorescent then the examination is done underneath a black light with a minimum light intensity of 1000 microwatt per centimeter square. If we are using a type 2 which is a visible penetrant then we have to examine under the visible light with a minimum light intensity of 1000 lux. And now I will show you the penetrant materials that are used for this inspection. Okay. The three main items for liquid penetrant testing are cleaner, penetrant and the developer. Here is one of the cleaners and there I have a number of liquid penetrants with different brands from different companies and some of them are visible penetrants and some of them are fluorescent which is this one and uh, here we have a penetrant which is emulsifier so it could be any of the penetrants as shown here. Here is an example of the developers from different companies and different, different types of developers which can be non-aqueous developers, aqueous developers or a dry developer which is actually in this can. An important point on liquid penetrant testing is that the penetrant and the emulsifier have to be from the same family. 
intermixing of penetrants and emulsifiers from different manufacturers is prohibited. Cleaner and developer do not have to be from the same manufacturer. Here are some more accessories that will be required. We have the black light here, the light meter to check the visible light or the black light intensity, a brush to apply the penetrant, a water nozzle for water washing, a pressure gauge to check the pressure of the water that it does not exceed 40 psi and a comparator plate for qualification of the penetrants. In summary the basic steps of liquid penetrant testing are shown here in this diagram. Cleaning, applying the penetrant, penetrant dwell time which is about 5 to 10 minutes removing excess penetrant using one of those four methods water washable, emulsifier or solvent removable and then applying the developer which is right here and after the developer dwell time we do the examination for detection of the indications thank you very much